In this video, we're going to evaluate the integral of the square root of x plus 4 over x. And it looks as like it's going to be a u substitution here. So I'm going to let u, and I'm going to try the square root of x plus 4. Now, I could differentiate here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and square both sides. And I dif differentiate here, this will be 2u du, 2 to the right side is 1, so this will be dx. And then this, see we can transform this to an integral involving the variable u. So let's go to x plus 4, this is your u. dx will be 2u du. And then the denominator, we have an x. We need a substitution for x, so let's go ahead and look at this one right here. And we write this as u squared, take the 4 over, be minus 4. And then this will be then equal to x. So in place of this x here, I can replace that by u squared minus 4. And let's go ahead and multiply it out. In the numerator, this will be u times 2u, so this will be 2u squared du. And that's going to be over u squared minus 4. And the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same. So let's see, do some long division here. Take 2u squared divided by u squared minus 4. So u squared into 2u squared, that'll be a 2. 2 times u squared is a 2. u squared, 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. And then we subtract here. 2u squared, subtract 2u squared cancels. 0, subtract minus 8, gives me a plus 8. And then this thing can be written then. 2u squared divided by u squared minus 4. The quotient is 2, so I have a 2 here. Now I've got a remainder of 8, so this will be plus, and the 8 will be over the divisor, which is u squared minus 4. And then this is a partial fractions now for this part here, the, the 8 over u squared minus 4. The 2, no problem. Integral of 2 with respect to u would be 2u where u is the square root of x plus 4. But I'm going to take this portion here, 8 over u squared minus 4, and let's factor that out into u minus 2, u minus 2, and u plus 2. And then partial decomposition, partial fraction decomposition, I'd have a constant then, a over, I have 2, non-repeated fa linear factors, so this would be u minus 2, and then plus another constant, b over u plus 2. And then one way to do this is just to multiply through by the lowest common denominator, u minus 2, u plus 2. On the left side, that'll just leave me with 8. On the right side, Multiplying by the LCD, the u minus 2 cancels there, and I multiply that by u plus 2. And then on the second expression, b over u plus 2, the u plus 2 cancels. It gives me a b and a u minus 2. So let's look at this way. Now we just substitute values in this particular setup here. So replacing the u by, uh, by 2. Because this actually forms an identity, so we can pick any values we want. Or we can rewrite this as a system of equations. Let u equal to 2. Then this factor here cancels. And it leaves me over here. 2 and 2 is 4. That's 4a equal to 8. So a comes out to equal to 2. So I got that. Now let's cancel the, the a by letting u equal to negative 2. u equal to negative 2. And right here, negative 2 and 2 is 0. Well, that wipes out the a. Negative 2 here. 
and minus 2 is minus 4, so minus 4b equal to 8, b equal to negative 2. So now we can come back over here then. This is the integral then of 2. And then the 8 over u squared minus 4, I'm going to replace it by this, this uh, decomposition here, where the a is 2 and the b is negative 2. So this will give me then a plus here, 2 over u minus 2, and then a minus 2 over u plus 2. So now we just integrate. So the integral of 2 with respect to u is 2u. But what is u? u is the square root of x plus 4. So let's just write this as 2 square root x plus 4. Okay, on the next one, I got 2 over u minus 2. So if, if I were to use a u sub here, I would let u equal to u minus 2. I'm already using u here though, so I would use some other variable w. But this is going to lead to the natural log of absolute u minus 2. And u is the square root of x plus 4. So I just put that in there. And then I got the minus 2. Same sort of thing in the next one. This will be minus 2. Natural log of u plus 2. And u is the square root x plus 4 plus 2. And here I have square root of x plus 4, that's positive, and plus 2, that's positive. So here, I don't need absolute values. I just put parentheses here, plus constant of integration. So the final answer then is 2 square root of x plus 4 plus 2 natural log of absolute square root of x plus 4 minus 2, and then a minus 2 natural log of the uh, expression square root of x plus 4 plus 2 plus the constant of integration. Now I could put those two together, factor out the, uh, the 2, and I have the natural log of this here over this over here, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. That's your answer. Thanks for watching. See you next time.